In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to fix stutters and FP drops while gaming due to CPU button lagging in 2024 on your any PC or laptop. Yo so guys, welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, please subscribe, drop a like on this video, and let's get straight into over this video. So guys, in the very first step, we are going to create a Windows Performance Monitor plan on our PC. So for that, you need to go for your Windows search, search for performance, and here you will find that performance monitor plan. So guys, open up performance monitor plan on your PC. Now you need to go straight to where your data click is set and click on to this drop down now you will find out here this user defined option so right click here go for new and click on to the data collector set now you need to simply type here any name like simply type here cpu cp performance after that now you need to go for create a manual and click on to this next button now check mark on the performance counter option after that click on this next button now click on the add button and now here you will find that this comes the list so you need to go for this processor option now go for this down list simply scroll down and find out the highest number available in this list as you can check it out here i have 15 available the highest in this list so click on this add button and add here inside this list now you need to find out here thread count options so simply scroll down and find out the t line so simply scroll down here we got the t line and here we got our threads so guys go for this option after that here you will find that all instance options so click on this add button and add here inside this list after that hit ok and save the settings click on this finish button and guys add here this profile and now close out your performance monitor now in the next step we are going to create a manual windows power plan for our pc for gaming and fixing the stutters and fps drops so guys go for your windows search search for power and there you find a choose a windows power plan so guys go for it now you need to create here a new power plan and guys if this high performance power plan is available on your pc simply select this power plan now go for change plan settings now go for change advanced power settings and here you will find out this window now go for your hard disk turn off hard disk after settings minutes and set it on zero minutes now you need to scroll down find out here this usb settings so go for it usb selected suspended settings click on the drop down and enable the settings now next most important option that is your intel graphics settings so click on the expand button now go for intel graphics power plan and set it on maximum performance now scroll down here you will find out processor power management click on this plus icon now go for processor performance core parking minimum cause click on the expand and set it on zero percent now you need to go for maximum processor frequency click on the expand set it on zero megahertz now go for minimum processor state click on the expand set it on 100 percent now go for maximum processor state click on the expand and also set on 100 percent now once you apply all the settings hit apply click ok and save the settings on your pc so guys now in the next step we are going to utilize the maximum processors and cores of the cpu so for that go for your windows search search for system configuration so guys here you will find our system configuration open up the settings go for boot option now go for advanced option and here you will find out boot advanced option now go for number of processor check mark on this box click on the drop down and select out here has number available in this list now hit ok apply this button and hit ok this will ask you for restarting your pc but we will restart it later so click on the exit without restart so guys now in the next step we are going to optimize our windows hard drive settings and our ram settings so guys for that simply right click on your windows start icon after that go for your system option now once you go through this window go for advanced system settings now go for performance and click on the setting option now you can simply select it onto the adjust for the best performance and this will disable all the unnecessary windows visual and appearance settings but guys as a content creator i need to make it more clear but guys i suggest you to go with adjust for best performance so guys simply select out here this option from here now you need to go for your main settings that is your advanced option now select out here adjust for best performance programs and click on this change button now uncheck this option that is your automatic managing paging file size for all drive now select out here your c drive 
and set this option onto the no paging file now click on the set button and hit yes now go for the next drive that is your d drive or e drive now i need to go for this custom size option now go for your window search and open up calculator now guys you need to change here these values so guys now you need to simply type here the size of the ram that is installed on your pc so that is 16 now multiply it with 1024 for converting it into the mbs now hit equal now again click on the multiply button and now we need to type here on 1.5 time of our ram size hit ok now here we got over this value that is 2 4 5 7 6 so guys simply type here the same exact value now go for maximum size in mb now you need to do this again like simply uh remember this value that is your uh size of your ram that is one six three four five so type here one six three four five now multiply with three the three times and click on this ok button now go to this value now type here four nine zero three five and guys click on the set button and apply the settings now do the same for this next value go for manage size click onto the custom size option now simply type here two four five seven six the same exact number go for maximum and type here four nine zero three five once you're done now click on the set button and apply the settings now hit ok reply and click ok and now close out the settings so guys now the next step you need to download these files on your pc one is the quick cpu optimization software and second is our windows registry file for windows 10 and 11 and guys you can download these files from the link in the description simply go on my website and download these files on your pc so now the very first step here you will find out this registry file so you need to guys simply right click here first of all go for show more option go for edit and here you will find out all the settings which will be applied on your pc after installing this registry file so guys as you can simply check out the settings now simply double tap here after that hit yes hit yes again and click ok now go for the next step that is the quick cpu so double tap here now hit yes this will take few time for launching this application once you open up the software now you need to go over the signals icon and click on the maximum performance this will enable the core parking settings, maximum turbo boost settings, maximum speed shift settings, monitor and force my settings enable, and guys also a lot of other optimization settings for your CPU. So guys click on the accept button, hit ok, and guys that's it. Now go for core parking, set it on the highest number that is 100%, frequency scaling set it on 100%, turbo boost also set it on 100%. Now enable the settings. Now go for your performance tab, set it on 100%, after that hit apply, click ok and save the settings in the quick CPU powerplant settings. Now close out this application. Now in the next step, we are going to disable the high precision event timer. So right click on your window start icon, open up device manager. Now once you go to this window, now you need to scroll down, find out system devices tab. Click on the drop down and there you will find out high position event timer you need to disable this device on your pc i have already disabled it so I simply right click here click onto the disable device option and guys disable it on your pc i have already disabled so therefore it's showing me enable device option but you need to disable this device after that now you need to one time reset your pc therefore all the changes take effect after that launch your pc and enjoy the best performance out of your cpu without having any kind of the bottlenecking and high cpu usage I hope you love it, please make sure to drop a like, subscribe to my channel and see you again in the next video.